Hello, and welcome to another edition of Sporty's Product Power Up Videos. My name is Doug, and we're at the hangar here at Sporty's Pilot Shop. Today we're going to look at the Yaesu 850L transceiver. It's a brand new radio from Yaesu with all the bells and whistles. Let's start out by looking at what's in the box. The Yaesu FTA 850L comes in this nice color box. On it has a whole list of features. Similar to the 750L, it has GPS, VOR navigation, and ILS navigation with localizer and glide slope. In addition to those features, they've added Bluetooth, as well as a big bright color screen, and six watts of transmit power. Let's see what you get inside the box. We have the warranty card and thick user manual. Here's the antenna. Standard BNC on the end. We have the radio. Underneath the radio, we have two batteries. One is the alkaline, and this will use six AA batteries. And we also have the rechargeable lithium ion battery. This is the plug for European. They have multiple options. And here's your 110 plug that can accept those European adapters. We have a cigarette lighter cable. This is the headset adapter. So plug into the side of the unit if you want to use a headset with it. With their standard PJ plugs, there's also a little dongle for a push to talk switch. The uh, 850L also comes with Bluetooth, so you can Bluetooth it to a uh, headset that has Bluetooth in it. This is a ferrite bead. This is sometimes used on power cables or headset cables if you're getting interference. We have a belt clip, which will go on the rear of the unit. This is a chart or a uh, sync cable for your computer. You can use software to program your Yaesu 850L. It's a standard micro SD and a USB type A. And then finally, this is the charging cradle. To operate the unit, I'm just going to go ahead and put the lithium ion battery in. Many times there's some charge in these when they ship them to the end user. So let's see if it works. There's a power button on the side. Comes right up. There's the standard disclaimer that we see with the ASU quite often. And there's a big, beautiful color screen. We just have a little bit of battery life here. But usually we can just type in a frequency and go. You can press the menu button to check out all the different functions this radio has to offer. On the side of the radio you see there's a power button, a PTT switch, a push to talk switch, and then a squelch button. If you push the squelch button the volume indicator becomes a squelch indicator and you can adjust squelch using this knob here. There's a speaker, a microphone, and on this side you'll find the port for the data cable, if you want to program using a computer, or if you're using external DC power, this is where you plug in your cigarette lighter adapter. To plug it in a headset, you need to take off this cover right here. You can use a coin or a screwdriver to take these screws out, and then you can insert your headset adapter into there. The rear of the radio has a spot for your belt clip, and of course the top has a volume knob as well as a knob 
for adjusting your frequency and a BNC connector.